Firebrand X here with a video on calibrating the analog to digital conversion level of your Frame Meister for a specific console. And today we have the Neo SD for the AES Neo Geo. And my particular revision of the Neo Geo is a 3-3. And that one is known for having particularly dim RGB output, although it's sharp, it's just dim. And so normally you would bypass it with an RGB bypass board. But in the case of the FrameMeister, the AD level can compensate for this. And so I'm going to load up this monitor test utility, which is actually based on Artemio's 240p test suites. This has a lot of the same test patterns. And so we're going to go down to color bars, load that up. And here, the one we're going to pay attention to is the green color bar. And as we adjust AD, it's going to uh, raise in brightness, and then it will start crushing the upper green shades. We're going to go down to special AD set, AD level. And as you can see, as I raise it, it starts getting brighter and brighter. But eventually, and then it just now starts to crush all of the green shades together at the top, as you can see. And so what you're going to do is you're going to adjust AD until each one of those shades at the top are distinct on that green. And here it's pretty distinct. I'll go a couple notches lower. 158 looks really good here. And so now we're going to go ahead and try that out. Let me reset back to the Neo SD menu. And let me filter the favorites, and I'll load Fatal Fury Special. It's a you know fairly decent sized game, so this will give you an idea of how long it takes to load one of these larger Neo Geo games on the Neo SD. Should take a couple of minutes at most. I usually get on the internet and Google or surf or whatever, Facebook, while I'm waiting for it to load a new game like this. Alright, here we go. Fatal Fury Special! And I've already uh, adjusted all of the masking and uh, integer scaling here for this 720 uh, profile. Um, but one thing I want to show you, go ahead and select my characters. There's no noise in the blacks as I've turned it down and I'll show you what I've done there. Okay, so... Let's go to color set menu. You can see I've turned the brightness down from the default 25 to 20. And black I have adjusted to 1. And for like the Super Nintendo and Neo Geo, these consoles that have a lot more colors, you don't want to go beyond 1 because you start crushing the lower blacks. But you can go up to say black level 4 on like the Nintendo Master System and even the Genesis as they don't have enough colors where it crushes lower level uh, colors. Um, so for these upper consoles that have the higher palettes, I wouldn't suggest going beyond black level one. And uh, just use just lower brightness instead. And to compensate, I raise gamma to 28 on this one, and it seems to work out as a good balance. 
to keep the overall brightness up while getting rid of the noise and the blacks. Yeah. <laughs> 